Jeez, it's Friday already. So you know what that means? It's time to hit the road. If you're not in the loop, I'm heading out to London, England today from here in northern Michigan. I was awarded the Changemaker Fellowship opportunity with the Rotary Charities here in Traverse City. And uh, I'm heading over to the Forum for the Future in uh, London. And I'm attending this school called the School of Systems Change. This particular program is called Base Camp 5. And I'll be working with folks from around the world. There was 22 chosen from Beijing and Buenos Aires, Melbourne, Paris, Berlin, and New York City. And then there's Frankfurt, Michigan. So here's Frankfurt, Michigan, the backyard with the fort and the old boat and the baby orchard and the old chicken coop. So I just want to say thanks for everybody's support. And I hope you join me on this trip. It should be a lot of fun. I still have to pack and then head to the airport. And of course, can't forget Isaac. You know, I lost my son uh, four years ago and uh, we've been spreading his ashes around the country. So now he'll get a chance to go over to London. Let's go, buddy. All right, everybody, I'm on the road. I got my trusty chauffeur, my dad. We're almost to Grand Rapids. I like the short line. Okay, here we are. We've landed, and in this place is wild. No, it's just New Jersey. Okay, we're about to board. We got a full flight. I'm pretty toast, so I'm looking forward to sleeping. I think the next time you hear from me, I'll be in the future by at least five hours. Time to board the plane. Final call for London. Okay, so we're on the plane and we're getting ready to head to London. You can see I've got an open seat next to me, which is pretty sweet because I'm also in the exit row. It's also bittersweet because uh, it reminds me of my wife who's not with me today. She had planned on coming on this trip, but uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer a couple months ago. And so we thought it was best if she did not come on this trip so she can heal since she just had surgery a couple weeks ago. So she's healing and getting better, but I miss her and so now I've got six and a half hours to think about her not being next to me, but hopefully I'll just fall asleep and tomorrow I'll be in London. It's been a great first day and I'm looking forward to Saturday, day two. Good night, everybody.